Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is a review of The Shadow of What Was Lost, book one of the I Like Canis trilogy. I am super excited to be going over this book with y'all. Uh, I am a huge fan of this trilogy so far. I have not finished it. Uh, this is only book one. I am on book three. I'm about halfway through. Uh, book two, An Echo of Things to Come. Uh, also a very great book. So I will make a review on that later. And I will make a review also on book three, The Light of All That Falls. Uh, very, very excited to be finishing up this series. So let's talk about book one. Uh, Non-spoiler review. I give it uh, four out of five stars. Uh, the one thing, the one caveat I would say is that James Islington did a great job of overall, did, like I said, four out of five stars, but I will say world building left a little bit to be desired. Uh, there's just things that I'm personally used to where the author left out uh, some details about things that I just would rather have in, but the scale of things are just a little off or, or placement of where things should be or the travel distance between locations, things like that. But other than that, great, f fantastic start to a series. I cannot express that enough. This, the author drives it forward uh, with his writing style uh, with this series. I haven't read anything else he has written, so I'm not really sure if it just applies to this series or if it applies to everything he writes. But I will say uh, it, it's very fast paced. Uh, it, the book is 700 pages. It does not seem like 700 pages. It's not a slog. It's not like, you know, you read two or three, four or five chapters and you're like, okay. When it is something going to be you moved ahead with the plot or this character does this for four chapters, whatever. It is not like that with this series, especially with book one. Book one goes by so quickly. He writes it in a way where there's some, there's a reveal every two or three chapters. Uh, again, I don't want to go into spoilers, but his writing style for this series definitely pushes the plot forward. And by the time you get to page 350, you, you'll be surprised of how fast that went. Let's see. Characters. Characters, characters. I have two favorite characters. Uh, Davian is not one of them. He is mentioned on the back. Uh, let me go ahead and read the back. It says, as destiny calls, a journey begins some water okay so it has been 20 years since the godlike augurs were overthrown and killed those who once served them the gifted were spared only after accepting rebellions for tenants which vastly limited their powers davian suffers the consequences of a war loss before he was even born when he discovers that he wields the forbidden power of the augurs he sets into motion a chain of events that will change everything. To the west, a young man whose fate is intertwined with Davian's wakes up in a forest covered in blood with no memory of who he is. And in the far north, an ancient enemy stirs. Okay. So that is the back. That is the synopsis. Uh, great little, great, great little uh, overview of it. Uh, but like I said, Davian is not one of my favorite characters. Uh, Caden and Brashada. Those are my two favorite characters. Uh, other, not, not saying I don't like the other characters. I like Davian and the other characters that he comes across. And <clears throat> I just don't... I think I definitely feel as though some characters are more developed than others and that kind of there's that imbalance of character growth without within the book uh but it doesn't it doesn't hinder it some books it does this one does not uh 
some some characters are just there to push the plot forward. That's their only existence. And no matter what happens or where they are, that is their whole... There's no character development. It's just pushing the plot forward. Uh, let's get into something that I gave it only four out of five stars for is the location. So locations, the author does a great job of of establishing where characters are but not in relevance of way are where they're located on the map so that there's a map in the beginning of the book but i kept trying to reference it and it's like okay where is this place where is that place and eventually i stopped referencing it because it didn't matter <laughs> Because they just kept, that's, I got a little lost with that. And so I, I eventually stopped referencing it because it, the travel time in between didn't seem like it was map. Like, I don't know. I just, the author didn't do a very good job of, of establishing the distances between cities and villages and and certain locations and then the scale of those locations were a little off uh, uh, there was some lost detail when certain events happen and I feel like he he, he kind of skims on on the lo like the actual location and the details of it uh, during certain sequences so it, it's kind of hard to follow where those characters are when they move throughout that location. Um, that's my only caveat. Uh, but I will say there's, it's an epic fantasy novel and the action se sequences are fantastic. Uh, kind of reminds me of a little bit, uh, like it says on the front, um, Wheel of Time. I've read a little bit of it. I haven't read all of it. It's something I would probably do after this. Uh, but I have read all of Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit books and uh, very much kind of um, has that Frodo and Sam vibe in the beginning uh, where Davian and his and his friend uh, go on this and his not his not only his friend but his cast of characters go on this journey where they uh, you know, they always have to run into a pub or, uh, there's just certain, <laughs> certain things that I feel like have to happen in each epic fantasy series. Uh, but, uh, again, is a, uh, I, I really don't want to go into spoilers. I'll make another video about that and it's going to be great. I'm super excited to dive, to take a deep dive into this book because it's very well, um, written uh the pacing is awesome like i said four to five stars highly recommend I, give it, I convinced a friend of mine to read it she loves it um she's a huge book reader she's uh <clears throat> read all the wheel of time series so i'm excited to get into that conversation with her and that's about it i don't want to uh, really want to go in, in the spoilers but I'll, that'll be another video but uh Again, highly recommend. I'll make another video on the second book. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll, I'll see you in the next video.